Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's Trips, Tips and Things on this glorious sunny day. Such unexpected weather, but I'm here for it. We are here at the O2 Arena and we are gonna go to Gordon Ramsay's Street Burger. I keep wanting to say something else, but it's Street Burger that we are going to. Come and join us, but before that, don't forget you can join us on our live every Tuesday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. UK time. And you know what? If you like, I don't know, reviews, food reviews, unboxings, trips, tips and things, and you haven't subscribed, then please do. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at the street burger. We've got the various burgers you've got online there. You can have burger and Kaufman fries for 20 pounds. Uh, your burgers here are your butternut, your chicken and avo, the not so simple, the lamb kebab. They've also got, you can add in the next level, which is basically smashed double beef patty, American cheese, uh, onion and sriracha mayonnaise. You've also got the OGR, which is the grass fed beef. The BAE, which is the grass fed Hereford beef. Uh, you can have the new idiot, which is the bar, I saw out, advertised outside, which is the barbecue short rib. The Hell's Kitchen, the menage a trois, tra, even. Uh, the butter chicken curry, or the GFC, which is the chicken, uh, Gordon fried chicken. You can have your thing on sides there. You can see you've got, they do ribs here as well if you want the half or the full rack these salads and of course you can get your dips want something hotter than hell well you can have your spicy wings or your vegan bites you can also as well pick your heat if you want it with the various sauces have you ordered? So I ordered the loaded fries, which is chicken, cheese, their sauce, 
and chips. So I'm gonna give it a go. Part of me wishes I ordered bacon extra on top, which I still might do, we'll see. So let me give it a dip in the sauce. Let's go. Now the food is very hot. The fries are well seasoned. I'm not fussed on that sauce, I don't think. It's okay. What sauce is it? Is this special what? sauce? Ah, okay. Now, just as a thing, you do get complimentary ketchup and yes. mayonnaise here, but the other sauces you do have to pay for. Yeah. So, I'm going to try it again. It tastes orangey. Oh, okay, so you don't like the sauce, no? It would be better without it, to be okay. honest. But that's just my opinion. It's okay. If you want to experiment with it, I would just ask for maybe a little bit on the side rather than it doubting the whole of the chips, but that's just a preference on, on my behalf. What's the chicken like? Ooh, let me try it. Okay, so as you can see, it's crispy coated. Look at all that seasoning on there. So you can see all the seasoning on there. It's crispy coated. Let's give it a try. Mm. The seasoning seems to be mainly on the coating rather than on the chicken itself. It's okay, it's nice. I think, me personally, instead of doing it with the chicken, I would do it with bacon. Okay. Um, the chicken's all right. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try a bit more. Mm -hmm. I like it. No real complaints, but if I was going to enjoy it, I'd have bacon or chicken and bacon. That's always a good thing. I would do it with the sauce and I would do cheese and probably maybe some spring onions would be quite good. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go for, so these are just the regular house fries that we're gonna try. Now, I like the way they do come in this little packet they got here, they're served, so um, let's try them. I'm gonna try them au natural first. Mm. There's a really nice seasoning on there. I don't know if it's um, like paprika. There's paprika and salt on there for sure. But that's good. That's good, right, let me do a little dunk. So again, complimentary ketchup. Yeah. They're good fries. They're yeah. really crisp. Yeah. Really fluffy in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I like it. Okay. Now, I did do a side of mac and cheese. Watch that. Which I'm going to yeah. try. Look at that cheese ball. Okay. Now, it is hot. It is hot. Yeah. That cheese is really, really good. Yeah, it took this took a little bit more time than the others. Now, it is expensive what it is. You only get a small amount and that's seven pounds. But it is it is nice. I think that's really good actually. Yeah. I think there's mustard in there. Wow. There's a slight tang in there, which is nice. It's really pleasant. I like that mac and cheese. Wow, 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 wow. That's good. Okay. Stay with me for the last one. This is the not so simple burger. So this is actually vegan with the tomato. Oh, tomato relish. It's got uh, pickles in there, onions in there. It's a good looking burger. Yeah, that's it's good size. Nice. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright. It's smoky. Mm. You can see all the reddish it's just dropping out. Dripping everywhere. everywhere, yeah. It's really nice. It's got a lovely smoky taste to it. That's delicious. The cheese is nice. I'm assuming it's vegan cheese. This yeah. is a vegan burger. Yeah. That's pleasant. That oh it's the it's the sauce. The tomato sauce is smoky. Right, That's right, 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 right. I would imagine the cheese is probably smoky as well. <laughs> that really good. Wow. 
a roll. Really nice food. Wow. Okay. So. Wow, look at the bacon I side. I know. So, I'm going to show you the inside. Look at that tomato relish, the egg. Oh, it's an egg in there. Yeah, tomato relish, egg. You've got the bacon and you've got cheese and lettuce. So, let's give it a go. This is an egg over easy, so. It looks a bit too cooked, but. Oh, no, it's not. Look how runny. You can see it will run down. Wow. That's a good breakfast. Is it? The it's... meat in there is like it's well seasoned. Mm. Salty. It's salty, it's peppery. I'm loving the bacon. Um, yeah, it's really good. Oh, I think I have the, the bun sweet as well. Um, I don't know if it came with um, tomatoes, but I asked for no tomatoes. I didn't mind the relish. I just didn't want any tomatoes, so. That is a really good burger. Really nice. Mm. There you are, look. Check it out that and a nice generous patty as well. Yeah. All right. Let's really chow good. down these and we're going to eat and then give you our final verdict. So here at Street Burger, here is the dessert menu, and you can get the bottomless ice cream, you can get the strawberry and marshmallow sundae, the sticky toffee pudding, or the chocolate chip cup. We aren't going to have ice cream, because unfortunately Kelly wanted this one, and they don't have it, they're not in stock, the strawberry and marshmallow sundae. So anyway, just an idea what you can have if you are having dessert here at Street Burger. Final thoughts, but before we start, we were actually filming outside the restaurant. We got moved on by security, so we've come to a different part of the O2 to film our final thoughts. Yeah. So, what did you think? I really enjoyed it, but I did feel that um, the so the chips, the loaded fries. I think they could. Ha I would have asked for the sauce on the side if it was me, and there wasn't enough cheese. I felt oh, like yeah, yeah, um, yeah. all the cheese were, was mainly stuck to the bowl kind of thing rather than actually on the, the chips. So I would have had more melted cheese because you know I'm all about the melted cheese, right? So yeah, more melted cheese, I think. I loved um, the burger. Um, so I really enjoyed the meat. was really well seasoned. I enjoyed the bun. The bun was slightly sweet. Um, the uh, relish was really good. I could have taken or left the egg to be quite honest with you it was all right but it wasn't wow oh my god there's an egg on my burger so for me my fries were really good they were now when i got through them a bit more they were salty so just bear that in mind they are quite salty well salty for my pan mm. anyway so i found them quite salty but they were enjoyable they had a really nice seasoning on that i think it may be paprika uh, smoke paprika maybe it's got a really nice taste to it mm. the burger the vegan burger was really good and uh, that that tomato uh, relish. relish they had in there was really nice it was a real smoky flavor to it uh, the burger was pleasant it was fresh that was yes. really good 
the mac and cheese was also really good as well. So the mac and cheese, when you brought it out, you'll see it's all bubbling. It's really, really hot. Mm. So if you get that, be careful because it is hot. The cheese ball on it was great. That was a really nice mac and cheese. And I said, I think there's a mustard in there, which sort of pecked it up a little bit, but I really did enjoy that. But I felt like my chip should have had a cheese pull as well. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah you Because too. there wasn't enough cheese in it, so I'm just like, mm. but. Um, I enjoyed it all in all. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I'm the same here actually. I've got to say. Um, now, £66 for two burgers, two chips, and a mac and cheese, mac and, cheese two and two waters is a bit pricey. So bear in mind, it is Gordon Ramsay, so you are paying for that name. Yeah. Just bear that in mind. And I felt that um, the, uh, the, so they did a 15% service charge. Oh which yeah, yeah. to me is a little bit higher than normal because normally it's 12 and a half percent. Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously it's discretionary. All service charge is discretionary. So if you don't want to pay service charge, you don't have to. I just felt that to automatically charge 15% was just a little bit. We are in a cost of living crisis to be fair, but I felt like it was a little bit too much. Now, I love the restaurant. I love the ambience of it. The, I love all the uh, graffiti they had everywhere. I thought that was really cool. So it is a nice place to go. Got to ask the burning question. Would you go again? I would, but I would try a different burger. Would you? Yeah, because what's the point of going back to have the same burger? I want to try something else. They had a lamb burger, which looked really interesting. They had ribs, also looked interesting. Uh, fried, um, sorry, uh, chicken wings. Yeah, yeah. I almost went for chicken wings, but because we were having, we were going to a burger place, you know, I just thought, oh, do you know what? Let's just get a burger. But I'm telling you, there were some other options on there which were really good. There you are. There you have it. So anyway, I hope you like that review. That's it for Mark and Kelly's trip tips and things. Um, if you like that video, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us make more, and we love making videos for you guys. And don't forget, you can join us on our live chat every Tuesday and every Friday, 6:30. UK time where you can talk about anything you like including the video you've just seen today and if you like food reviews unboxings holidays trips tips and things and you haven't subscribed then please do until then take care guys and don't forget you'll never talk to have fun we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye for now